Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and this new video where I'm going to be talking to you guys about the final exam results for the UCAT. The UCAT session 2021 is 2020 sorry is over and they have published the final results I think on the 8th of October or something like that or the 9th. And since like two weeks ago I've done a video about the interim results where I walk you guys through how to make a, um, educated guesses based on all of the previous statistics. I wanted to do just an update, a quick update with the final results just to see if my assumptions and my educated guesses were correct and just for you guys to have the final results so you can be 100% sure of where you can apply based on the UCAT score that you have and based on the entry requirements of the schools you want to apply to. So without further ado, let's just start the video and let's just jump into my computer so you can guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so as you can see here, we can basically see my Google spreadsheets that I used in my interim video, just that I have added like a few different columns in red, which were basically, which basically correspond, sorry, to my 2020 final results educated guesses that I have done in my previous video. And now we're just going to be comparing my guesses with the final results just to see if this technique that I use and that I showed to you guys last uh, two weeks ago is somewhat reliable. Of course, you shouldn't 100% rely on it. You should always, always wait for the final results to come out just to be 100% sure that your educated guesses were right because you don't ever want to be in a situation where you could have waited a few days and have you know, been able to apply to schools that will actually give you an interview or would be more likely to give you an interview with your exam result. But regardless of this, let's just compare and see if my educated guesses and the final results are somewhat similar. And I am so, so proud to tell you that this, you know, this column here, which are my educated guesses, are so similar with my the final results. And that is something that I'm really happy about. So you see that for the first percentile, the difference is of 10 points, the second percentile as well, third percentile there's also a, t a 10 point difference, then for the fourth it's the same number, for the fifth it's also the same, the sixth is also the same, the seventh is exactly the same, the eighth is the same, and just the ninth has a different number. So we can kind of maybe say that for my guesses we're not as, we're not 100% correct for the first three percentiles, so the first, like the top, the, the bottom scores, and for the people that scored the highest, so the people in the ninth percentile here. This also means that the range is also a bit different. There's 20 points of difference here as well. And then so with this, we can now, now that we have the interim, the final results, we can now see the difference between the final results and the interim results. Um, so we can see here that the difference is of 70 for the first three, then 60 for the next uh, for the next five, for the next yeah, for the next five, and then 50 for the last one, which is somewhat similar with all of the other ones as we've discussed last time, because the majority of difference, the majority of the difference between interim results and final results is of 60 points. There's five out of these. Uh, nine possibilities, which is a 60 point difference. And then it sometimes goes to 70 for the first three and sometimes goes to 50 for the last one. So it is within what we discussed last time, which means that yes, the UCAT is a standardized test. They're really trying every single year to have very homogeneous results. And that's something that we need to keep in mind. And then for the um, difference, I mean, the number of points that you need to go from one percentile to the next, uh, we can see that with the, the comparison between my predictions and the final results here are again very, very similar. The first two are, are correct, my predictions were correct. Then uh, the third one was a point, I mean 10 points off. Then the ne And then the next four are the same, my predictions were 100% correct. And then just for the last one there was a 10 point difference. Also, I've added here the mean scores for the past four years for the UCAT. And what we can see is that the mean score for the 2020 is within the same range, is within the same numbers as the past four years. So the UCAT is really doing a good job in maintaining the same similar scores across the years. But we still need to note that there is a slight difference, um, that the 2020 intake have a higher score than the last two years, which had a very, very similar mean score, which means that probably in 2020, the people that did the UCAT scored better 
overall than in the last than in 2018 and 2019 and then in 2017 we can still see that the mean score was even higher than 2020 so it still shows that you know uh, the scores are somewhat homogeneous within across the years so yeah i guess that this is basically all i wanted to tell you guys today i really hope that this video was able to give you some insight and help you guys fine tune your choices for your medical schools because it is really, really, really important that you use these statistics to make sure that you are aiming for schools where your UCAT score is within their entry requirements because you need to aim for an achievable goal. If you're aiming for schools where your UCAT score is completely out of their cutoff score, then it is very unlikely that you will get a medical school interview and therefore a medical school offer. So it is important to use these statistics. Uh, at the end of the day, you want to be a doctor, so it's good to apply to schools where you know that you have a feasible chance and that this decision was made, backed up with statistics and you know made an educated decision on that. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and share this video with other UCAT test takers or other medical applicants that could benefit from it as well. You guys are entering a profession or at least right now trying to enter a profession that is that values teamwork a lot so if you know anybody that could benefit from this video please 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 share it with them so yeah until next time thank you for watching